was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight for my monster from his slab began to rise and suddenly to my surprise he did the mash he did the monster mash, the monster mash. it was a graveyard smash he did the mash it caught on in a flash he did the mash he did the monster mash and I love Notari in the car series it's Crystal. So I am going to be doing a fast and kind of quick Halloween look, like last minute Halloween look. And it's using all Glamour Doll Eyes products for the most part. So this is the eye. And really, I mean, this could be like a witch costume makeup, or it could be like a dead girl makeup, or it could be like zombie, kind of like glam zombie. It can really be anything if it's last minute. I know for me, I have a lot of mommy friends, I have a lot of friends who work full time, so they're going to be going out or they're going to be going trick or treating with their kids, but they don't have the time to like do the cool liquid latex or even like the little um, glue type tricks. So this is all stuff that you have at home, like foundation, or you can mix pigments. Many of you who like Glamour Doll Eyes probably already have a good portion of these colors. Um, if you do not, these are colors that you probably have anyways in your makeup arsenal. So just kick back, enjoy, and again, this is not meant to be like perfect or beautiful or anything like that. It's really just meant to be quick, fast, easy makeup for Halloween. And I'm actually going to start with the brows because I want these brows to be like super, you know, creepy looking. So I'm just taking a black pencil really quick and I'm going to totally draw in these brows. If you're going to be at a Halloween party or out trick-or-treating, anything like that, you want a primer on because it's going to help your makeup stay safe and stay on all night. I just mixed a really light foundation with a really, really light concealer. So really light, mixed it together, and I'm keeping them open because we probably will need to touch up because we're doing a lot of blending on our face as well, and there's going to be some fallout. Okay, so I'm going to begin with the eyes first. I'm taking this gorgeous, gorgeous Glamour Doll Eyes color, and it is beautiful, beautiful gray, and this is called Incognito. And I'm patting this all over my lid. Like up until the crease, even a little bit higher. Again, does not have to be perfect by any means whatsoever. I'm bringing this underneath. And I'm taking a blending brush and I'm going to begin blending this out just to give it that sunken dead person effect you can blend this up high and I'm making it more of like a circle just to give us like those hollowed out ghostly looking eyes Bring that down to make us look like we have those dark circles have a baby wipe with you at all times or a makeup wipe because your hands are going to get messy so you're definitely going to want to keep wiping them off Next, I'm taking my all-time favorite Glamour Doll Eyes color called Royal Assassin. It is the prettiest purple with all of these turquoise reflex in it. I'm just taking a blending brush for this. And I'm going to be putting it like right above my crease slightly. And again, we're trying to give the circular illusion. And then I'm going to bring that down. I'm taking that same blending brush. I'm not going to wipe it off because I want these colors to mix. And I'm going to really start blending this. You can also use your fingers. Now I'm taking this gorgeous color and this one is called Undead. It is so pretty. And I'm going to take this on a pencil brush and I'm going to lightly wet my pencil brush with my baby wipe. And I'm going to place this directly underneath my lash line. It's just going to give the look a little something else. And we're not going to put that away yet because when I do the lashes I'm going to put it on top of the lashes like we've done here. 
Now I'm going to take this gorgeous, gorgeous matte black color, and this is called Urban Trash. This is by far the best matte black. Now I did use this for my lips. I used two different color lipsticks. I used this color lipstick right here, which is actually very, very sheer. And then I also mixed it with a little bit of a purpley toned lipstick. So I mixed those two together, and then I took Urban Trash, that beautiful matte black by Glamour Doll Eyes, and I put that all over my lips. So these pigments are incredible for not only your eyes, you can do so much with them. So I'm going to take that matte black color Urban Trash, and I'm going to take our original color Incognito, and I'm going to start doing all of this that I've done here, all of that contouring and shading. And I'm going to start off with Incognito, which is that beautiful silver. And it may be really, really thick, like this thick line right here. You can definitely go ahead. I mean, your fingers are your best tool. And a little bit just under here. We really want to go for that gaunt look. And then I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to dip it a little bit into that matte black. I'm going to start off small and stipple motions and then use my finger for this and push it back to my hairline. So this is the other eyelash, so pretty. I'm taking this lash, just taking some lash glue. Now you definitely wanna bend this lash because they're pretty brittle, so if you get any type of just throwaway lashes, Halloween lashes, any lashes really, you want to go ahead and bend them so that they can fit the actual globe of your eye. So I'm going to allow this to dry for a moment, and I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrow. Again, just a generic black pencil will work. I'm going to draw just a little beauty mark there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put our lash on. I'm going to take that same pencil brush and I'm going to go back into the color Undead. Then I'm going into that color Lover's Lane. Then I'm going to take a red lip liner and I'm going to use it on my waterline. Make sure that it is safe for your eyes. Then taking Lover's Lane, that gorgeous red, I'm going to put that on my waterline to set it. And it literally looks like blood. It is just so cool. And I'm going to use a little bit more of Lover's Lane, like right in the tear duct. Now is the time to go back and fix any type of mistakes or if your foundation, your original foundation came off or came undone. Like my cheeks look a little bit red. For mascara, I'm going to use a special False Lashes Mascara and I'm going to put it on the bottom, and then I'm just gonna fuse my real lashes with the falsies. And here you have it. This is your quick, super fast, last minute Halloween makeup. Again, this is just something that can go with a variety of things. If you're being a witch or if you're being like a sorceress, if you want to be a dead girl, it's a little bit glam because you've got the lashes on, you've got your little lined lips, but it's also really eerie in Halloween. It looks like we've got blood in our eyes, we've got the black lips going, you know, we've got the dead looking, really sullen face and eyes and everything. So I hope that you enjoyed this and I'm definitely going to do more Halloween looks. I know I'm super super behind this year. It's like the 24th already but I wanted to incorporate Glamour Doll Eyes with a Halloween look. I, two things I absolutely love, Glamour Doll Eyes and Halloween. So thank you so much for watching and I want to thank Glamour Doll Eyes. This is my second video in the second uh, set of Glamour Doll Eyes shadows that I'm doing and I just love Glamour Doll Eyes so much. They're one of my favorite independent makeup companies. If you want to check out Glamour Doll Eyes, please click the link in the description below. 
And if you have any questions about any shadows you see there or any of the pigments used, please feel free to ask. Our rundown was Incognito. That beautiful matte black was Urban Trash. We used Lover's Lane for the blood in our tear duct and our waterline. We used Undead just to line our lashes and our bottom lash line. And then my personal favorite, which is the deep purple with the turquoise glitter, is Royal Assassin, just up at the top to really make our eyes stand out. And Incognito, the first shadow that we used, is also what we used for our face to make that gauntness mixed in with Urban Trash. So thank you guys again, and I will see you in the next video.